I saw the lights on the night that I passed by her window. I saw the flickering shadows of love on her. All right, so what do we got? Uh, can I turn to security guard? He's been here for like 15 years. He found something moving. He saw something moving, like a like the scary statues? I don't know. It scared him, but he thought that he should. It might be a ghost. You should probably come check it out. He's never seen anything moving like that before? Not that I'm aware of. Why'd they call me? Because you're the one they call for this kind of shit. And ready? it's hilarious. You ready? Yeah. You ready to go crazy? What is this? It is a Hera. Had it commissioned for Hera's. It's um, the fight of century. Here's your fight. Yeah, is that... Uh... Yeah, that's, is that Joe Frazier? I mean, uh, it's, it's the, no, it's the, it's the Joe Johnson fight. Uh, yeah, Jack Johnson Jim and Johnson, uh, yeah. who's the other guy? Um, Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries fight, yeah, Battle of the Century. So they've got the whole bar right up on it here. And then right here is the painting that, Hera, that Bill Hara had commissioned. Oh, we should do painting. this. We need to do this as a documentary. I am going to make a really gourmet thing of crackers, mystery cheese, horseradish, and capers. <laughs> We're going to make Vance try it first. Because I'm not sure how this is going to play out. I'm a vegetarian. Let me get these capers on here. The balls are going everywhere. We're going to set the cheese on top of it. I'm... Hello there. Are you looking for a way to spice up your next dinner party, but just can't figure out how? Hi, I'm Tim Donner, just a relative of Tamson Donner, and I have a product for you. And that is the Donner Party Can of Bull. This is a meat-based energy drink with 500 grams of protein. Donner Party Can of Bull. Reach for that full body flavor. Make your next party a Donner Party. running up to me and he's like barking and then he was like running away from me and uh he was like trying to get me to follow him i started to like follow him and he's trying to get me to go on this dark ass path that's over by over behind my uh my place that goes into the into the river anyway um so this uh i met this guy his name is elvis he's samoan and we went on a ghost adventure uh, following this dog who was barking and barking and barking. Barking and barking and then he disappeared. Just whoosh, gone. No more barking. And then we were like yelling, you know, making jokes. It's on the video, you'll see. Then we heard a kaplunk and no human sounds. Yeah, well, maybe and maybe he's lost, but I did. I heard a, a tinkling of a collar. Anybody down there? You have a dog? Hello? We're, we're not cops. Are you a cop? Yeah, no. Okay, we're not cops. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm out here. Oh, whoa! What the fuck was that? <laughs> hey we're not fucking with you we just don't want your dog to uh are you okay because dogs don't throw rocks okay just make a human sound so we're not freaked out who threw the rock just uh <laughs> oh wait that means they can throw rocks at us <laughs> so, all right. Well, take care of your what? dog. Stop it from barking. The eight of please. us are leaving. <laughs> all twelve of us. Yep. And big, big John. He's putting away that axe. One of us is Samoan. <laughs> right. And the other was a scared white guy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I... <laughs> yeah. Well. Elvis will investigate when he barks again. Exactly. Next.
are here in the Crystal Peak Cemetery this morning because we're doing a little bit of a recon mission. We will be coming back here tonight. Apparently the residents around here have called us in because they've been seeing a free roaming uh, full vapor torso uh, that's been hovering around here and they've been hearing a lot of weird sounds. So, uh, Harmony and I will be uh, coming here tonight and trying to figure out what it is. They think it's a, they think there's a ghost and, well, you know, cemeteries tend to cause people to, you know, think about death and to ponder their own mortality. And so we are here today, not pondering our mortality because we're good. Um, and nobody wants me to be a ghost. Oh, yeah. Support? That's... There it is. I'm here with Harmony, and we are in the Crystal Park. We are at the Crystal Peak. Crystal Peak. Crystal Peak Cemetery. Crystal Peak Cemetery. Cemetery for the... It's actually the only thing left from the town of Crystal Peak, which... Uh, Saw right around the way over here and we're going to go ahead and we're trying to look for the grave of mike burns shot on christmas day that's right nothing sacred in crystal peak <laughs> nothing oh my god they're right there i thought they were fake hi we are here with the residents that are still left of crystal peak today right here hi guys got any stories to tell me you girls you guys look looking good so that's all that's left today are the few deer that are hanging out they're pretty tame let's see how close we can get to we see the wild deer. It's been a while since we've seen one. So we're going to try to sneak up on them and see if we can eat them. I mean, pet them. So we're going to go just sneaking up for sneaking. Shh, don't. They're very skittish. Actually, apparently they're not. Yeah. Are they going to stampede me? No, no, you should be fine. If they start to stampede you, I'll, I'll run faster. That doesn't help me. Oh. I want to take a picture try to ride that one. Do you think I can? Well, it looks like it wants you to. We are going to try to mount a deer today, guys. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Deer mounting time it is. Look how close this is when it gets pretty hefty. Can you get to Crystal Peak or no? Um, pretty sure you can. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> Did you see his badass beard? <laughs> pretty sure if you try, you can. I say we try. That's right. <laughs> I mean, that's true of most things. If you Be try, great. you can probably Fable figure it Alexander out. Alexander the Great. The Great, not the minor. Yeah. Alexander the Great said, nothing is impossible to him that will try. And that man took over half of the known world by the time he was 30. So I'm going to go with his advice. Right. And known philosopher Yoda said, do or do not, there is no try. That's true. And you know what? Dolly Parton said, girl, put on some makeup and you can do whatever you want. Right. Boom. And then... Her granddaughter, Miley Cyrus, said, She's not her granddaughter. Party in the U.S. Well, they adopted her. No, they did not. She's I think they had. Mother. Well, same thing. No, it's not because I hate Miley and I love Dolly. <laughs> I love you, Dolly. You have to love them both the same. They're symbiotes. I do not have to love them both the same at all. Miley See? Cyrus is a treasure and she will be Miley Cyrus is treated a whore. with the respect she is a whore. of the queen that she is. She is dating Thor's brother. She ain't my queen and Thor's much hotter. All right, well. We follow the tracks as far as we can go. Uh, it brought us over to the river. So, if the beast jumped in the river, then it's, it's gonna be pretty hard to track. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Now, this hotel that nothing's left up today, room 300. The, capable, okay, the hotel is capable of rooming 300. 300 people? 300 uh, dogs. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> 300 people. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was okay with room with the people. Now, one can only picture what it's like. So now, this point right here, over the last crossing of the Truckee River, to get to this point, people had traveled 
five to six months in a wagon along the California Trail. Now they called the California Trail the world's longest graveyard because only eight out of the 10 people that went made it. Just dead bodies all along. They had just come off of the heels of the 40 mile desert. 40 miles of just perilous desert with no water in between except for one hot spring. They had to cool down, it tasted like sulfur, until they came upon the majestic Truckee River. They had numerous crossings to get to this point, 23 of them to be exact. They get to this point right here and they know that right up beyond this hill right here is gold. What where we're standing is we're standing at the doorway of future, the doorway of hope. They knew that the better life was just waiting, fucking car, just kidding. They knew that a better life for them was just waiting beyond the corner right here and as they sat here knowing that their dreams were just around the corner that they were the end of this long journey it must have been pretty sobering to think about the journey that it took to get to here right now all right do the superman pose and look up at the mountain and just you're looking up there stay in superman pose and just no. let me get this shot i'm not going to stop the wind from going and i'll let it go if you want me to but if you want to hold on to it right there because i'm the mountain you like, are you making shit up now oh i'm making an inspirational oh, what shot is this, what is this west thing you It looks more like a Nazi pose. Yeah, it was a little Nazi. <laughs> I'm a little blonde. I'm a little too yeah, blonde go, to be doing that. Yeah, go back that. to Superman because it looks cool. I'm going to just come around your back. Yeah, a little. little too... I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is it. This has to be it. You ready? Yeah, let me just frame you up. Okay, you're good. Action. So right here, this is the grassy overlook. The grassy nook overlook that Felix O'Neill had built for his hotel. Now the hotel sat right there. And what we've got going on right here is he leveled this out. He had chairs here and, and entertainment. There were some bands playing sometimes, music, things like that for everyone to, to enjoy while they looked over the beautiful Truckee River. Now, it didn't fare so well during the Great Flood of 1862, and the bridge didn't either, nor did really the hotel, but that's okay because we still have this overlook right here to look at today. Thank you, Felix O'Neill. We appreciate you. Yeah, man, the road wasn't here when they did the petroglyphs. Like, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> why would they put these? Why yeah, would they build a road right by these like, petroglyphs? Like, I, like, I gotta wait for this because I know she's gonna figure this out eventually. Action. Now you have to imagine this in 1854, before all of this steel was here, because this was the really hard last crossing of the Truckee River. That's right, right before that steep ascent to the Dog Valley Hill right there. One man. A man came over this bridge in 1854, a man with a dream, a hotel, and a bridge. A toll bridge, because it's always a toll bridge, guys. That man was Felix O'Neill, and that dream was O'Neill Station, and that bridge we're standing on right here. Let's go take a look at the rest of it, shall we? Fucking nailed it with a car coming. You're awesome. This one's named Daryl, I think. Huh? Okay, hold on. Let's go, um... We're gonna cross and go down on that side. We're on your okay? We're gonna cross first. And go down to the bubble over there. Ah, uh, it'll... it'll dissolve. Oh, look at that. There's there's a big old chunk of that. Oh, that's really that that mountain mountain. Can we take it with us? Well, that's a huge chunk of pyramid power. Can you take it with us? If you'd like. Can you carry it? So the backpack and then we'll take it for rocks and some snow runoff. Very exciting. But it's going to pass a big 24 days of building. We're going to go any further because of the snow. We just find that in the winter time, back in the day, this one's amazing. In the winter time, back in the day, they um, look actually turn into a sleigh room. I mean, he's obviously an elf because she can walk on top of the snow. And the rest of us have to fall down in it. Or it could just be that I'm fat. Whenever somebody makes a mistake and says Dark Vader instead of Darth Vader, it makes me think of like white trash Darth Vader would be called Dark Vader. And he's got that laser sword, man. Because it'd be like the Darth Vader you get like at the flea market. <laughs> it'd be called Dark Vader. <laughs>
Say, friends, you looking for a car? When you're ready, come see Freddy Go Getty. We'll get you in the car right away. Freddy Go Getty. Don't forget your name. Remember, it's Freddy Go Getty. Get you in the car. Go and get you a car, you piece of shit. All right, so I've been called to the uh, Putt-Putt area, and uh, there's some strange noises coming from the Easter Island heads. Like something weird's going on over there. Strange noises coming from the Easter Island heads, and uh, they wanted me to check it out. Yeah. Why? Why did they call me? Why well, they call for this? So, do you think there's a ghost in the Easter Island head? We'll see. Hey, Katie, what kind of room has no walls? A mushroom. All right, so we are hearing weird sounds coming from the Easter Island heads, but we decided to check out the other sculptures in the vast putt-putt garden to see if they're making any sounds. And uh, so far we've heard no sounds coming from anything other than the Easter Island heads. All right, so the strange sounds that were coming from inside of the golf course uh, have been located. We went and we shook the uh, Easter Island head to see what may have been causing the noise, and lo and behold, it's a duck. It was a duck that was inside. It's always a duck. <clears throat> so it wasn't uh, ghostly sounds coming from the Easter Island head, it was a duck. And now time for a dino adventure. Well, hello there. I'm Professor Presley, and I'd like to welcome you to the Professor Presley Velvet Elvis Hour. Now, this is a segment as part of the YouTube channel where we discuss a lot of different topics. We talk about music and movies and action figures and boobs and uh, everything in between. Not the things in between the boobs, you see. Tonight, on our segment. If only <clears throat> you're not here. Been on the island a few days. But there's something here. There'll be no match for my city guard. <laughs>
Well, I've been out here on the island for a few days now, and I don't see any lizard-like creature. So, I'm not sure what they were talking about. Professor Presley? He's awesome. Republican Party. I hear you're looking for a charismatic guy to run for president for you. Well, listen, Republican Party, I don't want you to be sad. I want you to smile. You're prettier when you smile. Now look right here in these blue eyes. What do you see? That's president material right there. Yeah, that's right. Let's run over the facts. The biggest qualities for being a president. One, I kind of want to be it. Two, I'm a white guy. Think about it. All right? Now listen, I'm not just going to get in there and start a war. Unless we need to. What I am going to do is I'm going to get in there and I'm going to cut taxes. That's right. You're going to look in these eyes and you're going to go, that guy's going to cut taxes. Right? Whatever it takes. Whichever tax you want me to cut, I'm going to cut it. But not for things that are important, like the environment. Around a corporate workspace, that's right. <laughs> yeah. You hear me, Republican Party. Right, baby? Right up. My eyes are up here, sweetie. If you're looking for a candidate for president, go ahead and vote for me. And hey, if Trump starts to win, I'll become vice president. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they don't have to do anything. We're here in the 40 mile desert. Why would anyone come to such a godforsaken place far away from the world? Fortune and glory. Fortune and glory. Hello there. It's 5 a.m. Am I gonna be up at this godly hour? Well, for adventure, something. First of all, Harmony has a map from 1861 that points to a bandit cave known as the Oro Cave. Oro's cave is known to have a jewel in it that was hidden. It was uh, stolen from a king uh, that was visiting the Americas and uh, Anyway, Harmony has called me to go and help her find the Cave of Oro. And hopefully we find the tooth. But it's too damn early right now. The mashup town of Oregon. You just get these great expansive shots, you know. Out in, out in these places. We're gonna walk 40 miles right now. If God wanted us to walk 40 miles in the desert, he wouldn't have vented Teslas. Okay?
I'm here on a piece of forgotten land in the 40 mile desert. We were out here looking for obsidian crops. All along here, there's all kinds of organic coal that has made a shelf all along this ridge here. And so we're looking for specialized minerals and as always, gold. All right, this spot that we're standing, this area would have been built up so that they could load the train or wagons that come through. It's a loading dock. It's a, like a loading area, yeah. Okay. Because we are already on a train station. Yeah. We're on a train station. So you see down here, you can see that, that, that metal over there by the train tracks? Oh, yeah. That was the way on the train station. Yeah, so, so uh, if the train station's there, then this would have been like where they would load up coal or things like that. Okay. And uh, this was a smelter over here. So what we're going to do also is we're going to go across the road over there. Okay. Yeah, so if the Oregon, mine is there, then they would have taken all of their Oregon minerals and resources so and we're do here, put it onto the train that way. Oh, that's fossil. I yeah. thought so. Yeah, that's fossil right there. And it. And then in the middle part, will you grab me a water? It's green and one side is white. It's crazy, huh? Isn't this whole place weird? We are here right now. All right, Harmony, why are we out here in the middle of the desert? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. I'm here in the 40 mile desert, far away from anything worth having. We're out here looking for a very rare mineral. And I think we have a good shot at finding it. Take a look at this. We found the mouth of the cave. But only one of us was going to go inside. Harmony is afraid of snakes. And I'm Professor Presley. I'm a total badass. I go down in caves and shit. Like a total badass. This is This way, there's nowhere for the water to go. to see you. So Harmony's map worked? It did. It was accurate. So were you, was it accurate? Yeah. It was a map from 1861 and we were able to find the Cave of Oro. So were you able to find? Yeah. Really? Can I see it? There it is. The Tooth of Oro. So cool. Right? So cool. A lot of people don't even know it existed. But now we have it. It's a gem that looks like a plain old rock. But it's also, that's the Tooth of Oro. The museum will pay heavily for this. That's awesome. It's just good to get an artifact back where it belongs. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, I was down in a mine shaft. We had to swing over some underground rivers. There were rabbit squirrels. I would have loved to be there to see that. It would have been awesome. Yeah. But uh, you couldn't have been there to see it. Why? There were scorpions. Ooh, yeah. 